What's up cousins? It's Sienna and welcome back to CC's room. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back, y'all. Well let me let me kind of somber down. Let me let me I mean not somber. We're gonna settle down because we've got what happened between me and Tay and this is most likely not gonna be like a happy upbeat type of video so um yeah let's just let's just go ahead and get into it all right gang we gonna try to keep this real raw unedited as possible you know what i'm saying i can't promise I won't make no chops or, you know what I'm saying, none of that because I'm not perfect and I got a lot to explain and say or clear up or, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, just talk about. And it's going to kind of be like, you know what I'm saying, a little clear the air and update with me and kind of everything that's been going on, my relationship, etc. So, uh, by the way, y'all just feel hella weird, like even me just setting up the camera setting up the lights and everything it just feel weird because i haven't recorded and done this like in months so um yeah this kind of just feel weird but anyway I um yeah i want to clear oh, up God, some dear. statements some false accusations some stuff that's been said that's not true mm -hmm. like people putting their own plot twists and stories together and you know some people running with this and saying this and some people running with that saying that and yeah, I didn't get it from me or Tay. Didn't get it. I don't know where people be getting this information from, where they be getting this stuff that you know what I'm saying? put out in the air. I don't really know. I'm going to speak on some things. Some stuff is meant between me and Tay. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop into this. So first thing, y'all, I want to clear, y'all, is some crazy false rumor about me moving to Atlanta and managing some youtubers that i worked with personally in my past um that's not true y'all that's okay. false i actually tweeted and um a supporter tweeted me back and said that that was being said by some t page i don't, I don't know yeah. but i just want to let you guys know from me personally i never said i moved to Atlanta. i never said i was managing this person that person and a third that never came out of my mouth <laughs> never been said by jazz never that's been said crazy. by me so um yeah i don't know I don't know where that came from at all y'all uh the second thing i want to like you know what i'm saying kind of clear up is the whole stage thing like i seen someone where somebody i don't know man somebody posted where me and tay were staging a breakup bro come on man like bro i'm not finna i am a content creator you know what i'm saying and i do do stuff for entertainment purposes but come on bro i don't know if you're getting <laughs> stuff wrong man like i wouldn't put my emotions in that i wouldn't put another person's emotions in that i wouldn't put my supporters our supporters emotions in that bro like you don't even play around like that like yeah. bro like this shit is real bro like shit got real shit get real like bro okay what this happened? is somebody's whole relationship i know i brought my relationship to youtube and you know what i'm saying people gonna put their own opinions and intakes and stuff on that but like at the end of the day we are two humans you know what i'm saying we're not perfect and that's just what it is like it's nothing to be staged y'all people break up all the time things happen all the time and people separate all the time it's the all the you know time. what i'm saying it's uh, life it's i don't know i don't know man i'm not that youtuber we are not those youtubers who will stage a relationship breakup for some likes cloud that's just something else i wanted to clear up another thing i wanted to clear up is oh no a lot of people have been saying like um my business page on facebook is not real ever since like me and tay broke up they think the page is not real the link is in the description down below y'all this is my real facebook it was my real facebook page before uh me and tay even got together it's just i work with a company they're gonna post anything with me in it if i'm in the video they're gonna post it so no matter who else in the video page always been named perfect labs it never changed even when our relationship even when i changed the picture to me and tay all day all like the page was named perfect labs it never changed 
that's you know what I'm saying that's that that's my page y'all I just want to let you guys know that that is my official Facebook business page you know what I'm saying so it's good it's Gucci I just want to let y'all know that that is really my account it's not a fake page you know what I'm saying I do work with a company to post content on there but it is my real page you know what I'm saying um yeah so moving forward let's go ahead and move to the next thing uh which is what like happened between me and Tay? Yes, thank you. A lot of people want to know why we broke up, why we separated, um, why she moved out, because I do live alone now, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't live alone now, you know what I'm saying, but I don't live with Tay anymore. Uh, but I know you got to see that the setup look different in this room. Got a new bed, got a new setup. A lot of people want to know what's the reason. Why did we break up? What happened? You know when you're like going through something, you still be like processing certain things and why certain things, you know what I'm saying, happened and et cetera. But um, y'all, like me and Tay, we, the whole year 2020, we were kind of like disconnected. I'm going to be honest. All right, I had to take like a little pause. Cause this is like actually like my first time really talking about oh, okay. it in a way. Like even when my parents, you know found out and they seen what's going on and they reached out to me i just kind of kept it like at a you know like i'm good like you know what i'm saying everything will be handled you know i'll figure everything out yeah which i've always been that type of person like oh no i just have a hard time like showcasing my emotions and really telling people like how i feel and etc so this is like you know what i'm saying just bear with me that's all i'm saying just bear with me so Basically, y'all, the whole 2020, me and Tay, we were basically kind of disconnected. Our communication was totally, like, it was out of there, man. Like, it was shit. Like, it was ass. Like, we were not communicating the way that we needed to and the way that we wanted to mm -hmm. as a couple. And I felt like back then I wasn't understanding enough. Because, you know, I'm be a bigger person. I'm going to be, you know, a bigger person and admit my wrongs and say when I was wrong. But, you know what I'm saying? It took me to, like, December to look back at the entire year mm -hmm. and really, like, look at things as a whole and, like, divide it. Like, damn. Damn. Like, maybe she was calling out for help. Maybe I did miss the signs. Aww. Because she had told me, you know, um... Another thing that she was calling out for help the whole year and I was missing the signs and maybe I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just wasn't hitting on to him until like kind of the end of November. Like, I just like, something was off. I'm just like, bro, something is very much off. I'm like, everything just don't even feel the same. I'm like, we are not here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We are not here. We are not here like we will be good it will work out for a week and then we will be back in the same place for another two weeks two weeks and a half we'll talk it out everything go back to good i will say i'll work on this and i'm gonna do this and i guess to her she wasn't seeing the progress she wasn't seeing the change how she wanted to see it and i don't know like she wanted to see it immediately or she also tell me like Yo, I'm, not, I'm not trying to see it immediately like but i'm also not seeing any actions. So mm -hmm. I just feel like I had a lot to work on. And then a day in December, she had like a little breakdown. And that's where she had made the post that you guys seen. And I didn't know nothing about the post. I didn't know nothing about the post at all until 11 o'clock that night when I personally had got on um, Instagram. And the great thing about it, like, I, just, I don't know how I did not see it. Like, I just did not see it until that night. And that night when I seen it, man, I mean, it's just, the argument just got worse. I just felt like you didn't talk to me before you had made that post, but she claimed she had been trying to reach out and been trying to call out for help. And basically that I was missing the sign, so that was her only way of letting out emotions. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Um, I told her, you know, I understand. I was like, okay, after I actually sat down and thought, and look back on it, I was like, okay, understandable. But um, yeah, from there, 
we were trying to kind of like work on it. It wasn't working. Um, we were steady like withdrawing ourselves. We were disconnecting even more. And just with everything that was kind of like going on, everything that y'all understand, we are real people. We got real feelings. Real shit was said. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real shit was was said when you are arguing. Ooh, real feelings real are put on the floor. Like real said. shit that you didn't know a year ago or feelings that you didn't know was there were said. So from some of the things that she had said, my heart, my mind, my body, I honestly, I, I just feel like I couldn't, like, I couldn't do it. Like, I just couldn't, like, I don't know. Something in me was just like, it's time to focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's time to just put yourself 100% first. It's time to get back to you, like, you're not even you, like, that's what my mom was telling me. So I just knew that, like, us trying to work on a relationship right now when we really needed to work on ourselves individually, it wasn't going to work. Us staying in the same house while trying to do that, even staying in different rooms and stuff, it wasn't going to work. We needed that separation. We needed that space to grow. Like, we need that space to grow individually. And um, that's something that I explained to her. And she noticed, and yeah, that's basically when she decided um, towards kind of the middle end of December to get her own place, and that's where that had came from. And man, I'm still like processing a lot of this, y'all. Mm -hmm. So if you hear me saying like a lot of just man, and I'm still processing it because it's kind of like the first time it actually came out of my mouth. This is the first time, like I told y'all, I haven't talked to my parents. I don't talk. I ain't talking to my own family about it. Like, I'm just a real like. I keep it. I keep everything in type of person. Like, I keep yeah. everything in. I like to deal with it by myself. I'm that Libra. Like, yeah, that's what happened with everything. And I like to deal with it by myself. I'm that Libra. Like, just a Libra. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. I love a Libra. I love a good Libra. Uh, that's what happened. I never that. knew like, that. Nobody stepped out. Nobody did no yeah. real crazy. Man, I don't know what the hell y'all was that thinking. That makes me so happy. Stuff happened in the relationships, and sometimes people grow apart. People disconnect. Sometimes shit happen. That's that's relationships. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like we've been together for three years. I've really been with that girl since I came to Houston. I still put in Houston and I saw her and I I just could nobody like tell me to not fuck with her. Like could nobody tell me to not like mess with Tay. Like that was like that was my baby. Like that was for real. Like could nobody tell me not to mess with her, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, I just feel like she been with me since she was 18. She finna be 22. I've been with her since I was 20. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I just turned 24. And mm -hmm. we just never had that space. We never not been up on each other. Like, I met that girl. Like, that girl moved in. Like, would be damn near. You know what I'm saying? Like, immediately. Like, we started hanging out and it was us. Like, I was, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't going nowhere. And... Everything moved fast, and we never, ever had that separation. We never had that time to grow in those younger times like that in our life. And I told her, like, right now, we just need that time to grow and both get our mind right. I don't want to be the reason why somebody feeling drained. I don't want to be the reason mm -hmm. why somebody feeling unhappy. Aww. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to feel so any type nice. of way like damn self because yeah. I was just feeling a place where I just was not right you know what i'm saying like right now i'm feeling way much better that actually happened at the beginning of december where we had separated it's going to be february um i'm no i'm definitely at a better mindset i'm definitely at a different healing stage um i've accepted a lot of different things i've accepted reality and that's one of the things i had to do within this process is split my reality from my heart you know what I'm saying? I had to split them. I had to take away what my heart really wanted and put the reality out there because I knew we could keep trying, we could keep doing this, but we just kept falling into the same sunken place. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being happy for a week, a week and a half wasn't going to cut it. 
just for us to go back in the same sunken place. Yeah. And I just wanted to let you guys know that is so that mature. We weren't perfect and we aren't perfect and we still gonna make mistakes and we still are growing. We still are young adults. We still have a, a whole life time ahead of us mm -hmm. and I just want to let you guys know there is no bad blood between me and Tay you know what I'm saying we are cordial um I wish nothing but the best for her I wish her success I wish her success on her YouTube journey on her business journey on anything she want to do in life I wish her nothing but the best I want her to succeed I want her to grow I want nothing but happiness for her and to my supporters and to our supporters thank you guys for supporting me and Tay on that journey thank you guys for coming with me for you know being there for me changing my blog channel to a couple's channel watching that journey supporting me through that journey and I just want to say thank you guys so much without you guys I wouldn't be able to make bump content without you guys I just want to say a lot would not have happened in my life that happened without you know what I'm saying? My perfect squad, man, without you guys that supported me and Tay. And I just want to say thank you, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for all the DMs. Thank you for all the tweets. Thank you for everybody who checked up on me. Thank you for everybody who reached out. Thank you. Thank you, like, from the bottom of my heart, y'all. Like, I really do appreciate it. Like, I really felt the love and I really feel like the support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know y'all been truly waiting on this video. Um, I just really wanted to wait till the right time. I didn't want to come on here out of hurt, out of anger, say and move wrong. I really wanted to wait till my mind and my body really told me to sit down in front of this camera and do this shit. So that's that's where I, I wanted to move with that. That's how I wanted to move with that. And um, yeah, since then, uh, I've been, you know, really get my mental together, getting content ideas together getting what I want to do. Um, I've been remodeling the house. I kind of got like a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff out here. Actually, I'm going to show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Since we here. I'm going to show right y'all. Okay. Right, let go, let go. Um, let me zoom this boy out for y'all real quick. This is my room I right now. Now, y'all didn't never get to meet Cash, but we got Cash in October. I kept Cash and Tate kept Lou. So, uh, yeah. This is my room right now. I know y'all remember the bed actually being so on that cute. side. But now... I got a TV on that side. And y'all already know your girlfriend to really get on the game. And I told y'all. I told y'all, bro. Like, I told, like, bro, why my stuff turn off? I don't know why it turn off. But I told y'all, gang, like, we really finna, you feel me, get on the <laughs> RP. You know okay. what I'm saying? We finna really get on that game. And y'all know blue my favorite color. That's why I went with blue with the yeah, bag. You know what I'm nice. saying? You know, throw my own sauce on things. Just want to show y'all, like, everything of taste is going out of here. Also. Like, she is fully moved out. This was her side, you know what I'm saying? I got some of my shoe boxes and stuff up there, but I haven't really moved none of my clothes to that side yet. I still got a lot to get done in this room. Like, I got a mirror coming and stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys, like, want a full house tour when I'm fully done. Like, y'all let me know that. Here go the living room. Put the TV on the wall. It was right there. Um, You know what I'm saying? Just got this TV. built, so it's not, like, all cleaned up and stuff. You know, got the rug. Y'all know I like black, nice so you know what I'm saying, kind of match black with anything, so that's kind of my, you know, flavor on that. I've been having some time it's on my flavor. hands, so you know what I'm saying, I've been making me some stuff, some artwork to put up around the crib. Y'all know I love nice. so I just thought that yeah. this would be dope. I made these from uh, Walmart, you know what I'm saying. Still got some more to that make, so cool. but you know, I'm just showing y'all what I've been doing with my time, you know what I'm saying, just want y'all to check me out. Um... Kitchen still look the same. I'm actually going to get something to go there, but I just haven't yet. I'm working on one room at a time. Uh, oh, yeah, let me show y'all in here. Let me turn some lights on for y'all. Boxes. I got a whole bunch of trash, y'all. Like, I've been redoing the whole house. Like, as you guys can see, there's trash everywhere. This little room, I know y'all remember what this room looked like. I'm not sure if you guys did. There we go. You know what I'm saying? I had to turn that red light off. But uh, I'm going to send a little video of what this area kind of looked like before I had redecorated it a little bit i'm kind of okay. not done still got some stuff to you know what i'm saying do in here but that is uh so nice. yeah here go this little area i love the here. black decor you know i'm gonna go upstairs with it because i also been um redecorating up here and redoing stuff up here because like i told y'all i don't live alone no more you know what i'm saying i got two of the homies that stay with me that's also gonna be shooting some content and stuff with me so you know what i'm saying look you know what i'm saying got some stuff prepared you know what i'm saying but uh here goes this room let me you know show y'all where i'm coming from upstairs boom here go this room right here it's the homie room you know what i'm saying so, i love the light gang gang bro got the calls in here 
So he hard. We all trying to get on the game and flow. So you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all gonna have to mess with us, man, on the servers, man. Let's go in here. Oh, yeah, we're doing this too. It's just kind of like a whole bunch of trash and stuff right now, y'all. Like, it is not together, like, at all. I did buy this, which is pretty cool. But you know what I'm saying? I still got to get, like, nice. the foundation of what I'm kind of doing up here. Okay. I did get this built too. This is new. But you know what I'm saying? It's still coming together. This room over here is also one of the homies' room. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're doing a lot of the, redecorating, the dollar bill, redoing bro. stuff, man. Still got a lot to work on, but this is what I've been doing with a lot of my time. This room right here is the studio room, like the actual recording music okay. studio room. Like you know what I'm saying? My other video recording studio room is downstairs. This was the regular video recording room, but I moved that to like the business room downstairs. So I actually turned this one into, you know what I'm saying? The studio, this is a day bed. It got to get put up, bro. I just been, you know what I'm saying? Haven't made it to this one yet because it just came in like a day ago. We broke down, you know what I'm saying? You get, we broke down the box and stuff like that, but I'm going to put that over here. So yeah, that's that. And I'm actually just going to show y'all that when... I'm done, but like, let me know if you guys want like a full little house tour when I'm done, you know what I'm saying? Redecorating and putting my own touch and style and flavor on this joint. Cause you know what I'm saying? Look, y'all see your girl got flavor. Like look at the candles, you know what I'm saying? Yes, look, at, look at my vibe. The you know, the together. Y'all see yeah, what I'm yeah, trying yeah, to do? Y'all yeah, yeah. see the vibe? But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys and update you guys and really just have a little heart to heart with my gang. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and update you guys in my life. New content, new videos, new faces. It's 2021, man. We grinding, we grinding, we grinding. We not letting up this year at all. You know what I'm saying? I just want to let you guys know that I love you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me. Continue to support your girl. Like we just finna go hard. You feel me? We finna go up. We finna drop them bangers. Like no kizzy, we finna drop them bangers. Like listen to me, bruh. Like, I'm finna bring that 2017 grind mode jazz out. And y'all know how heavy I was going there. Like, yeah, we back. We back in that. We back in that. Hey, more content coming soon. I love y'all. I'm out this thing. Yes. I'm excited. I'm happy that she's okay. I'm happy that... Well, we don't know that Tay's... I mean, I'm pretty sure Tay's okay. I'm, I'm happy that they are i'm happy that they are mature enough to recognize that they have a lot going on and they need to separate to grow separately that makes me very happy like a lot of people would just stay in a toxic situation and be like well excuse me they'll be like well we're, we're happy like uh sometimes you know and then sometimes it just gets a little bad like some people would like stay in that toxicity and it's just like bro like at some point you have to grow up and be like okay this isn't this isn't it so i'm happy that they decided to go ahead and separate and then that way you could just tell that like she really loved tay like she was just like you know i've been with her since forever because i don't remember i mean she said she, when she was 20 and she's 24 no because tay was 18 and she said tay's 22 now so 1924 i don't know y'all anyway, get the point but you know they've been together for a long time and i i knew that she had been with tay for a long time but i didn't know that like i guess tay was the first girl that she ever talked to but i don't know that's crazy it's crazy how you can spend so many years with somebody and then not even end up with them I mean, that's insane. <laughs> that's insane, bro. And you can't look at it as time wasted because you're going to learn a lesson from it. So whatever lesson you learn from it, you can apply to your next relationship. And it's just like, it's insane that you can literally be with somebody for all that time and y'all still don't work out. Like, whoo. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want me to react to. And blue hearts or true hearts.